when the obsessive sexual fascination of feet bentleys and panties starts to disrupt your social life and your sex life you have a fetishistic mental illness if you're seeing me for the first time my name is kindy sai and if you have a mind worth caring for this is the place make sure you click that subscribe button yada 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 let's dive right today we'll be getting into what a fetishistic disorder is the symptoms as well as the treatments last time i was talking about how fetishes are actually developed so if you haven't watched that video make sure you're gonna create some time right after this video to watch the video that i posted last time and i'm definitely gonna put it somewhere up here just so that you do not get lost and it's probably gonna come out at the end of this video so this is one of those very short videos i hope you're gonna make it till the end I would really appreciate it if you make it till the end. So let's get right in. According to the diagnostic to, 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 goodness, a fetishistic disorder is a condition in which there is a persistent or a repetitive use of a non-living object or a highly specific focus on a body part to reach sexual arousal. So let's assume that your fetish is seeing your partner in women jeans irrespective of your partner's gender so you are depending on your partner on wearing women jeans for you to be aroused sexually hectic so the causes of fetishistic disorders have not been established but so many people believe that this actually develops in your early childhood take note that it's okay to have a fetish and as long as it is not disrupting your life or your sexual life with your partner then you can do whatever you want with the fetish or whatever it is you want to do with your partner you know moving on to the symptoms if you've been having very very intense sexually arousing fantasies or urges or behaviors with this non-living object or objects or this non-genital body part you probably have this disorder but that's just one symptom out of three so let's move on to the next so these urges behaviors or sexually arousing fantasies should also cause great distress or damage your social, occupational, or personal lifestyle. So the third point is something you should actually take note of. The fetish object or whatever this fetish is should not be um, a vibrator or something that is specifically designed for sexual arousal. No, that does not count. And also it should not be any piece of clothing which is used in cross-dressing. So there are treatment options available. There is medication as well as therapy. But then the thing is not so many people with fetishistic disorder come forth with this and say, hey there, I need help because I am, I have a fetish that I'm obsessed with and it's disturbing my actual life. This is because not so many people are comfortable with talking about their sexual life or their sexual experiences. So people with this disorder usually just, you know, keep quiet about it and they hardly come forward. If you happen to have any questions about the fetishistic disorder, do write them down in the comment section right below. I will answer your questions if I can. And I'll refer you to a couple of sources if I can't answer your question. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And since you're here already, it would be really nice if you just take a screenshot of this exact moment, go to your Instagram, post it, and tag me in your story. Like, just write whatever you want to write, tag me in your story, that would be nice, just to know, like, who's watching and, you know, who's actually watching. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, guys. I love you so much. Bye.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my other amazing videos that are educational. And if you have enjoyed your stay on this channel, do subscribe on the crazy page that is right over here. I love you so much and I look forward to you being a part of this amazing community. Bye!